So I entered the draw for this uh, particular shoe, I guess you can call it, and I didn't think I'd uh, win. Just basically put put my name through, and I thought, oh, might as well enter and see what happens. It was on the the Crocs website, and it was for the uh, a triple collab between uh, Crocs, uh, Salhi Bambury, and also uh, Futura, the uh, graffiti artist. And uh, like I said, it was limited to a thousand pairs. So I didn't really think I had a chance of getting them, uh, but surprised to find an email saying that I've got them and they took about a week to come through so it's supposed to have been limited to 1000 units so I don't know how true that is but um, but yeah I've got them in hand now and it's got the sort of presentation on here which is art friends thumbs up good job and the box is a bit crushed it seems like when Croc sent them out they didn't put it they didn't double box them they just boxed them in a in a bag and that was it and it's got the Futura, uh, I'm guessing the product code for it, and then the size, and the colorway, or the shoe name is uh, Helix. So the box is actually bigger than what you'd normally get from a, a Crocs uh, Salehi Bambri, which I have a, another pair, but uh, in the, the packaging you can see it's got this kind of abstract graffiti art all over it. Uh, which I probably describe more in the sort of galaxy sort of space really kind of like the uh, circles and lines going through it and yeah to me to my eye it feels more sort of what you find something in space or in, in the galaxy kind of thing and so this is the pair it's quite cool actually the colorway and I think on, on initial thoughts I can see there's a lot more blue on there which I'm a fan of I like blue anyway so for me that's a, a win i think if it was like a pink and orange color probably wouldn't be so uh, hyped about them but this one uh, it's a nice actually so it's like i said because it's majority blue and then it's got sort of sprinkles of green and other sort of colors white black purple running through the sneaker is, is quite cool and it's much like any other uh, salehi bembry uh, crocs pollux crocs and i can also see inside you can probably see there it's got the futura logo stamped on top of the Crocs logo and the the shoe sorry, feels sort of the same really and it's got Futura on the strap as well so I think what makes this unique is the fact that it is a thousand uh, units so I feel kind of sort of lucky I never win anything really especially this sort of limited so just surprised to get these really and like I said it's a it's a cool looking uh, shoe I would say that the limited aspects of it is, is basically what's won me over, I guess. I think if it was just a general release, uh, I wouldn't really be looking at it. And call me a hype beast for that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but it's cool. Nice to have something unique uh, and not that many people have, really. So here are the details for the Crocs Pollux Salehi Bembry Futura. It comes in a uh, multicolor, so it's basically they're calling it uh, Helix as the colorway. And it comes with a, a fused insole, so this is something that Crocs normally do with their uh, footwear. They usually just uh, fuse the insole so it's part of the shoe itself. And uh, these have uh, rubber outsole pods, so on the forefoot and also on the heel. And that's more, mainly for sort of dur durability, so it's, it's a slightly different material to what you normally get on Crocs, and uh, it does provide better traction as well, and it feels quite sort of sticky. And it's also what the uh, Crocs have is a technology that's called Light Ride, so it's like a lightweight foam material, and it's basically that's made up of all synthetic upper materials. And the price for this one was hundred pounds because it was a collab; it was more expensive. So with the uh, comfort and sizing, I think these have a medium to firm sole. I don't think they're soft. There's a bit of give to, to them, but that's mainly provided by the insole. And uh, they have a good arch support as well. So I think that's something that Crocs normally do with their footwear is put, put a uh, almost like a contoured uh, shape around the insole. And I think uh, for when I've sort of worn a previous pair of uh, Salee memories, they took about two to six hours for their materials to soften. And once they do, they feel better on foot. 
And I'd recommend going whole size down for all these, unless you are one of those people that is up on the uh, spectrum of uh, the upper size, and you tend to sort of go half size down on, on trainers, for example. But with this one, probably like if, if you're in that category, then go true to size. But for everyone else, I just recommend going whole size down because there's a lot of room in the uh, shoe itself. You can, even if you're a wide foot, it's still best to go half size down. And uh, I think you can basically have this. These have, in my opinion, have average grip. I don't think they've got amazing grip, even though they've got the sort of tech in there with the, like the different kind of outsole pods on there. I still don't think it's that that great. And you have to be a bit careful when you're sort of walking in the rain, especially. So with the look and style, I do like the fact that it's like a futuristic design, and that's by Slehi Bembry, and uh, it does have his sort of trademark uh, signature fingerprint on it. And it does give you sort of that chunky sort of sneaker vibe. So if you're not a fan of that, then you probably won't like these either. And these are good for sort of spring summertime, in my opinion, especially this colorway. It's quite sort of loud and uh, abstract, I guess. And these are again, just mainly for casual wear, unless you want to sort of flex because it's limited in numbers. And they're laceless. So with the uh, final thoughts, I like the fact that they're a limited shoe and they were limited up, up, allegedly to 1,000 pairs. I don't know how true that is. Uh, so I'm one of the lucky few to actually be able to have a pair. And I do like the funky colors. I think mainly because it's a, 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 a lot of blue hues on there. And I think it didn't, if it didn't have the blue hues, I'm not sure I'd like it as much. And uh, obviously the design is funky anyway. So the Slade Bembry Crocs, they do uh, for sort of more of a funky design compared to other trainers or shoes. And I like the fact that they're laceless. And also like the comfort as well. It's not like a, to me, in my opinion, to a, a easy foam runner. I think it's slightly lower than that, but it still feels nice on foot. Uh, with the cons, I think still you got the the sizing inconsistencies, and that's not going to go away because they've made the molds now, so they're going to sort of continue to stick with this. But I think it's probably frustrating for people when they buy this for the first time that they end up with the wrong size, <laughs> and then having to then kind of try and find a, a different pair. And uh, the silhouette isn't for everyone, so it's one of those ones that may sort of divide opinion, I guess, and some people prefer this over to a foam runner, for instance. And also, this particular colorway is loud, abstract, and very sort of artsy, so it's not for everyone, and you have to be wearing it in sort of special occasions. And in all honesty, like I said, because it's limited to 1,000 pairs, it's more of a flex. And with the, the ratings, I give the uh, look and style for, for this pair a 5 out of 5. Reason being, it's just that it's just because it's a limited collab, not many people are going to be wearing these. And it just makes it more unique and just, uh, like I said, not, not what everyone has on foot. And the comfort, I give it a 4. So it's very much like any other uh, Crocs uh, from Soleil Bembry. And uh, it's comfortable, but I think for me, easy foam runners are more comfortable. and. That's just my opinion. I think uh, we all sort of differ in terms of what we like in terms of com comfortability. And the quality is very much sort of standard stuff. I feel like the quality of uh, Yeezy Phone Runners are nicer, but I do think the durability on these will last you a long, long time and because uh, of the thick outsole. And the pricing, I give that a five as well. So because it's a collab, it's slightly more than a, a standard pair. So I think a standard pair sort of retails for about £80 and then this pair is 100 and uh, because it's limited, um, it kind of makes it worthwhile because no one else has got a pair. And if you're sort of saying to someone, you want to pay an extra £20 to get like a limited edition sneaker, then it definitely feels sort of more worthwhile, especially because of limited numbers. And overall, this pair, I'm going to give it a five because of the fact that it's limited. Uh, call me a hype beast, but it's just quite nice to sort of have something that not a lot of people are going to have. <laughs> so I feel kind of a bit lucky about that.